We'll guide you through how to download and install the minimap mod for Minecraft 1.21.4. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The one we're going to be getting is by X0, and we'll guide you through this step by step. It's really convenient to go and have in the top as it helps you go and navigate around the world. So make sure you watch this full video. So to go and get started, we need to come and close out of Minecraft. So what we can do is go and pause, press save and quit to title, and then quit game. Now what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So I'll just go and open up Chrome, but it doesn't matter. What we can then do is go and type in zero minimap mod like so. And we can go and get it from Curse Forge. There are other sites, but this is just the one I use. So you can scroll down and go and learn about it, but I'll be covering the main things in this video. So what you can do is go and press files like so. Now you're going to go and see different versions here. Scroll down and you can read through the description, but I'll be covering the main things you need to know in this video, but it is still useful. But to go and continue and get it, you need to go and press files. Now don't get overwhelmed here as there are quite a few different versions, but of course the first thing we're looking for is the game version as that needs to be 1.21.4 and then the mod loader. So there are different mod loaders here. If you already have a mod loader, then go and get the one you already have. Otherwise, one I like to use is Forge. This is important because any other mod you get needs to be for the mod loader Forge and for the same game version as well, which is 1.21.4. So in this case, I'm gonna go and get this one here so we can go over to the right, press the three dots and click download file. Now go and wait and it will shortly go and download. It now has, but before we get any further, a big thank you to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. If we scroll down, we can go and check out some of their awesome features, like DDoS protection, which is gonna go and keep your server online, 24 seven servers and support, which is a service I really value. You can go and get 24 seven live chat assistance whenever you need it, which is super useful if you're running into a problem. But to continue with the guide, we've now got the mini map, but we need to go and get the mod loader in order to actually use it. So what we need to do is come to a new tab and we can then go and type in Forge Minecraft like so. And what you can do is come to the Forge site. Now come over to the left and make sure you go and select the right game version. In this case, we're using 1.21.4, which we've got selected and we can then go and click on the installer. You can see there's latest and recommended. I just get the latest one. When you click here, you're gonna be brought to an ad wall. Just be aware the content below is an ad. So if there's a download button and you click on it, it's for the ad. To go and get Forge, you need to click the skip button in the top right and it will go and download. It now has. So you can then come out of your web browser. What we then need to do is come into our file explorer and head to our downloads. In here, we can go and see Forge and then the minimap. So first of all, let's install Forge, double click on it like so, and you should go and get a pop-up like this. Now, if you don't, this means you don't have Java installed. So you can go and open up a web browser, and what you need to do is go and search or head straight to java.com. Here we are, click download Java for desktops, and you can then click download Java. Download it, and you can then go and install it. Return and find the Forge file, right click on it, hover over open with, and click choose another app. You can then select Java and go and click always, and it will then go and run. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and Java files. I'll give you a quick run through now if you're struggling, open a web browser and search for jar fix. The site is this top one here. And what we can then do is scroll down, download the jar fix or XE and then run it. And it's really simple. It should then go and fix the problem. Then you can come and return to the forge file and you can try running it with Java again. Once it opens though, select install client and press OK and it will run through. It shouldn't take too long. And then what you need to do is come to the bottom, click on search and go and type in Minecraft. Then the launcher is going to go and load. Head to the top of the launcher and click installations. Scroll down and we need to go and find Forge. Here it is just here. Hover over it and you can click on the installations folder icon to the right. And you can scroll down in here and you need to go and find the mods folder. And what you can do is go into it. And now we can add in Xero's minimap. So we can go and hover on our file explorer at the bottom, and then you can go and drag and drop it in. That's it. Now what you can do is go and hover over Forge and click play over to the right. Now it's going to go and launch, go and wait. It's now loaded. You can go and click on mods and you can see the minimap has now been added. 
So we can press done, press single player, and we can go and get into a world. And we will go and see that it's now appearing in the top left. Xero's minimap mod has got features like waypoints and other things as well. But to get to the main settings, you press Y. And then what you can do is first of all, make sure it's switched on. You can go and click change position and you can left click and drag to move it around. In this case, I want it in the top left. We can press confirm. You can also go and click on view settings and you can go and change the shape from a square to a circle, for example. Choose if you want it to be locked to north, change the zoom, the opacity, loads of different things. And there are some other ones as well, but you go and get the idea. So we can go and start using it. And of course you can go and use other mods with it as well. Just make sure that for the same version, which in this case is 1.21.4, and also make sure they're for Forge. But that's it. Overall, this mod is a great addition to Minecraft, especially with other mods as well. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then make sure you go and check out Apex. A big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. I look forward to being able to help you again in the future. Have an awesome day. Thank you for watching.